What's poppin' players? It's your boy, Zimzak here, with my first ever drama video. Today, I'm gonna be giving you the lowdown on the whole Helldivers 2 controversy. You may have seen a lot of news about it in the last two to three days, and that's because it's been a pretty incredible story, and one, for once, that has a happy ending, where the consumers won against the multi-billion dollar corporation. So let's get into the groundwork of it. On May 2nd, on Steam in Helldivers, there was an announcement saying that due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers, they had suspended the linking requirements that they always intended to have, where basically to play Helldivers 2, even if you were gonna be on PC, you had to make a PSN account and you had to link it to your Steam account. Now this was temporarily disabled at launch due to all of the server issues that were happening. Basically way too many people trying to connect. Game was a lot more popular than they, was ex than they were expecting. And this was actually one of the initial controversies when Helldivers 2 first came out was the servers not working. Um, at the time, basically the development team made the decision, you can see in these tweets here, to uh, temporarily suspend the account linking so people could get in and play right away. And this wasn't an issue because you know, basically nobody read the little thing that said at some point you are going to have to link your account and it wasn't properly advertised basically anywhere, uh, which is why people were justifiably very upset. Another reason people were really upset about the account linking thing, you might think, hey, it's not a huge deal, dude. Just make a PSN account. Why are you being so mad? Well, PSN doesn't operate in like 90 something countries. Here's a list. So if you had bought Helldivers 2, on Steam and you were enjoying playing it on PC, you paid $40 for this game, all of a sudden, because of this account linking change, you no longer could play the game that you paid for. It suddenly became a, a piece of locked software because PSN doesn't operate in your country and you can't use a VPN to make a PSN account because that breaks TOS in a totally different way. So people were justifiably very angry. And this is when the Helldivers 2 community seriously stepped up. People with PlayStations, people who had linked their accounts, people who, you know, honestly for them, it wasn't a big deal, stood together with all of these people in the affected areas and said, hey, if they don't get to dive, we don't get to dive. We either all dive together, we don't dive at all. And I think this was the moment, truly, that changed Sony's mind because essentially this is when you start seeing a lot of posts on the subreddit of people canceling their PS Plus subscriptions, uninstalling the game, saying they're going back to other games like Deep Rock Galactic came up a lot, but that's beside the point. Rock and Stone. <laughs> but really, I think Stuff like that is what got Sony's attention. And during all of this controversy, I feel incredibly bad for the dev team, which while having a part to play in all of this, obviously, I think stepped up in a way you don't see a lot of CEOs step up. You can see here in the tweets I'm showing now of the uh, CEO of Arrowhead Games on Twitter, basically admitting to the developer's mistake and fault in all this. Uh, and I think that's something that's very applaudable. Obviously, we gave them shit for this huge mistake that they had made, but it's, it's a pretty rare thing to see an executive step forward and just completely eat shit in the public and take the actual burden and mistake onto himself as opposed to blaming it fully on Sony or any number of other things he could have done to save face. He came out and went, this is on us. We fucked up. We're sorry. And not only that, another uh, developer slash community manager, I'm not 100% sure what his role is, Spitz, who had previously actually also had some controversy about how he runs the Discord uh, come up, basically came forward and said, look, I want you to go leave a negative review. If you want to make a difference, go show Sony that this was a bad decision. It'll it'll basically give them better negotiating abilities. And uh, he later updated showing that like, yeah, of course he got a serious like chewing out for basically going, hey, go review bomb our game. Like no publisher is going to take all of that. But internally, right? Like that must've been a really scary thing to do, but he stood up for the community and that's applaudable too. So I think the people at Arrowhead, while not blameless, I think the way they they stepped up and took the blame on the chin without trying to backpedal or make any excuses or put it all on Sony is 
you know, a pretty... It, it deserves respect, and I think it deserves them not being really the object of everybody's ire, which I will say didn't really happen. The community focused in very quickly on Sony being the enemy. This was a Sony error, and I think a big part of that is due to the, the CEO and Arrowhead's communication. So everything goes nuts. The subreddit is burning down. The Discord is burning down. This continues for two days. There's a Forbes article written about it. It is huge news. And then, I believe it was this morning, we get this tweet from Sony. Uh, and I will read it out for you guys now. So this was, yeah, this was posted yesterday at 11 p.m. Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback on Helldivers 2 account linking update. The May 6 update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network accounts linking for new players and for current players beginning May 30th, will not be moving forward. We're still learning what's best for PC players, and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support for the continued support of Helldivers 2. We'll keep you updated on future plans. So pretty clear, massive W for the Helldivers 2 community. Um, it is always just so incredible to see consumers win. And I think one of the most important lessons to take from this and probably the most important thing people did was cancel their PSN Plus subscription. When, when shareholders and when upper executives actually see a massive financial impact on a decision they've made, not just a community impact, I think that's really what got them to to 180 on this so quickly and I'm just so incredibly proud and so incredibly stoked that the Helldivers 2 community came together so hard to defend other people in the community that you know live in very different places from them and just yeah it was just a very cool moment where gamers rose up for something that they should rise up for and won a pretty a pretty you know undeniable victory and that's really cool so that's basically the whole helldivers 2 controversy in a nutshell who knows there might be more news coming out but that is the whole three-day controversy summed up for you real quick if you enjoyed my summary of the events please hit that like button below or comment down below what you think are you going to be reinstalling helldivers 2 are you happy with this decision reversal do you still not trust the game uh under sony's publisher after they made such a huge mistake and uh yeah i hope you subscribe i hope you stick around i stream every weekday from 4 p.m to 6 p.m pst and i'm going to be making these weekly little controversy roundup videos so if you want to see more in the future please subscribe comment down below like do all the youtube things all right it was good talking with you guys peace peace